Good morning, everybody, and happy April 1st. I know it's April Fool's Day, and I don't have any tricks up my sleeve for you today. I promise. I'm not good at those anyway. But I did hint yesterday that April starts something that's pretty exciting for me. Um, of course, it's going to be exciting for me. So you ready? Here it is. I'm so excited. Like, yay! It is National Poetry Month. I know, in my head, if I had like special effects on my computer, it would be like glitter and fireworks and a big banner, National Poetry Month, dun 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 um, But I don't have special effects. I'm still figuring all this stuff out. So um, it is National Poetry Month, and I know some of you might go, ooh, poetry, yuck. But sentimental moment, stay with me. Poetry is around us all the time. It is in the music you listen to, it is in the nature you see outside, it is in the words you speak and the words you read. Poetry is everywhere, okay? Um, so what I'm going to be doing uh, for this month is each day that I check in with you, I'm going to read to you one of my favorite poems. So for today, tomorrow, and Friday, you don't have to do anything with the poems. Just enjoy. Get some exposure to some poetry. The three that I have for this week, for today, tomorrow, and Friday, are more classic poems, um, ones that people know. Um that are kind of like embedded in the literary canon. Um, but as we move forward, I'll do more contemporary poems and we will do some poetry assignments as we move forward too. Um, sorry, I have an itch. Um, but yeah, it's National Poetry Month, so yay! Um, I'll also attach a PDF of the poem that I read each day in case some of you really get into it and you want a copy so that way you have um a copy of the poem. So uh, the one that I'm going to read to you today is called She Walks in Beauty by Lord Byron. Okay, and sorry I have to read it off. I don't have it mesmer memorized. Okay. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies and all that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes. Thus mellowed to that tender light which heaven to gaudy day denies. One shade the more, one ray the less had half impaired of the nameless grace, which waves in every raven tress, or softly lightens o'er her face, where thoughts serenely sweet express how pure, how dear, their dwelling place. And on that cheek and o'er that brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell of days of goodness spent, a mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. So that is She Walks in Beauty by Lord Byron. It is your first poem for National Poetry Month. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a classic. Um, and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.